Hey and welcome to another tutorial. Today I will show you how to create this macOS Finder logo from I don't know macOS seven or eight. It, it's pretty old. It's it's before the macOS ten era, so so it's been a while. The left one is an image. The right one is the logo created inside Microsoft PowerPoint. So let's get started. I will start with a blank presentation where I already have this logo pasted in, and I will try to somehow trace the line of the of the nose of the shape of the head. So I will insert new shape and I will. This time I will use the arc and I will right click select format shape and set the line width to maybe like 8 points or so and maybe the color maybe like orange something which is different than the blue one maybe a little bit of transparency that should be fine that should show us where the line is being drawn this one I will set to the middle and I will try to align the bottom of the nose and this one should be around here then I will resize it from the top and bottom at the same time while holding the control key on my keyboard like this and I have to adjust of course the width maybe like this maybe the height should be a little bit bigger you know it just trial and error seems like quite a big shape should be used because there is not a big of curvature for this shape maybe like this I'll drag the yellow handle to this position and I'm very happy with the result so I will keep it as it is I will copy paste this shape make it a little bit smaller because I, be, I guess the bottom part is a little bit smaller go from around here to here and let's try to again resize it to this size so it's the curvature is a little bit smaller maybe I will rotate this not the, not the image but rotate this just just a tiny little bit like this maybe not that much maybe even, even less or maybe not at all. I guess I'm fine with the shape. So I will zoom in, make sure that everything looks fine. And what I will do is I will merge two those shapes together. It seems like it doesn't make much sense to merge those individual lines, but you will see what happens. PowerPoint would kind of uh, try to guess the shape and create us a new filled shape. So I will select Format, Merge Shapes Union, and it kind of you know gives us those you know semicircles. I will right click, select edit points and I will click on this point with the control key being pressed which will delete the point and I will do the same for this one. Before deleting this one I will right click and select open path so we have two points. I will delete this one and that one and we have the shape which we are looking for. This is this, this is the shape which we are looking for. So that's great. I will keep it there. I will probably draw the like the rectangle. Then I will select both shapes maybe move them to side and I will probably select merge shapes fragment that will create all those different small pieces so I will delete most of them and I will only keep the left one which I will use for different fill later on I don't need it right now so I will maybe just set the line to no line solid fill but I will hide it anyway so I will open the selection pane and hide this shape this shape and the nose and I'm missing the eyes and the mouth so I will select insert shapes rectangle I will draw those eyes and duplicate it holding the control key on my keyboard and I will again use the arc shape to draw the mouth before I will change the shape or size I will again raise the width maybe change the color and the transparency so I can see what I'm doing it seems like a quite small shape should be used for this one like this okay this this seems like a very similar shape so I will just drag the left uh, the right and left yellow handles and that that seems like fine okay so I will probably show all those individual shapes I will zoom out and move everything to the right side like this I will hide the selection pane for now and I will start setting the colors so this one the bottom, the bottom rectangle should be of course this light blue color and I'm using the eyedropper tool for the fill color of course no outline the left one should be this darker blue again no line the eyes should be actually the right right eye is is black with no line the left eye is very dark blue color the navy color no outline the nose is black so I will bring this to front and send this to black without any transparency and I believe that the 8 is probably not enough width so maybe 10 or maybe 11 would look better 
and the mount should share the same width so 11 point as well and as you can see the right size of the mount right part of the mount is black the left one is navy so i will set this to black for now but i will duplicate this shape one more time so copy paste it move it to the same spot set the outline to navy color so i wrapper this navy color and adjust the right yellow handle for the navy one and for the black one i will adjust the left handle then i will select the nose again and bring it to front so it covers the connection between those two lines and that's basically it that's how you create the old finder icon from mac os in microsoft powerpoint in almost no time thanks for watching